بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala love us and love you and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and forgive you and, and bless us all with علم النافع رسكن طيب وعمل المتقبل أيها الأحباب when talking about the differences that we face between us uh, as an ummah and especially between Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah when we see our brothers and sisters who are on the same methodology, the same madhab, the same minhaj, the same understanding and aqidah coming from Kitabillah wa Sunnatul Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the fahim of the salaf of this ummah that we have to learn how to deal with the differences between us. That when something arises, it is not necessary to always destroy the honor of your brother and sister, to belittle your brother and sister, and to destroy the reputation of your brother or sister. But rather to deal with this as the ulama have dealt with this, the salaf of this ummah, all the way up until now, that it wasn't necessary for them to destroy the reputation of one another, but rather to deal with the actual issue. Advise one another. And yes, sometimes the ankar, or sometimes the uh, the way in which you uh, disagree, or the way in which you uh, reprimand your brother or sister in their for their mistake, sometimes it is a stern reprimanding if it is necessary to do so. If you have the knowledge and the fiqh to be able to understand when and and when is the time and the place for that. But what we see is an extreme on the other end. We see very little gentleness with one another and we've seen sternness and harshness and severity upon one another more often than not and the point I want to make here is not just the fact that we don't know how to differ but one of the issues in which we definitely need to rectify and we need our ulama to speak even more about it and clarify this issue for us is the issue of if you do not if you do disagree with me on an issue I mean and our, and our usul is the same we're from Ahl Sunnah both of us have the same ulama we ask questions to the same ulama we take from the same ulama of Ahl Sunnah And we differ over an individual, perhaps. Because the mashayikh, they differ. They differ over individuals. They differ over certain mashayikh. Some mashayikh say, so-and-so, we see what he's been doing, his many mistakes, and we believe he's not, He's an innovator. He's not. He's no longer for Ahl Sunnah. Or they speak very severe about him. Other mashayikh say, no. We see that individual to be from Ahl Sunnah, but he made some mistakes. And he. we hope that he corrects them. So then there you have a difference. The problem is, especially for us in the West, and not just in the West, really, in fact, around the world, especially amongst the youth and amongst the, the talabat al-ilm, or the tulab al-ilm, is that they, they take sides. And when they take sides, they make the issue completely black and white. For example, if you do not call this brother an innovator, then you are an innovator. And this is a a type of qiyas, in fact, of what Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said regarding the one who does not men lam yu kafir a kafir a kafir for who a kafir for who for who a kafir that Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah said, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, whoever does not declare a disbeliever to be a disbeliever, then he's a disbeliever. And that, this is not the time and place uh, to go into details about that, but just so we have a quick understanding, this means those people that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, Allah Wa Rasul have made takfir of, you know, for example, non-Muslims, no matter what, no matter if they're from Ahli Kitab or whoever, that they are disbelievers, they don't believe in Islam, and those people where there's where it's clear about where there is no room for 
Uh, it, it's not an issue of necessarily ijtihad in declaring that person a disbeliever, but it's clear and it's wadah on the disbelief that they fell into and, and so forth with the other principles of takfir. So this principle applies to those, not to just anyone that if one of the mashaykh makes takfir on this individual and then the other mashaykh don't or another sheikh doesn't, that he's a disbeliever. No, no one says that. No one from Ahlul Sunnah says that. And I've looked into the issue and studied the issue in Allah Alhamd and this is the case. So the problem is though, from this qiyas, this uh, analogy that we are, that some of the brothers make, they say, if you do not make tabdir, you do not say this da'i, or this person, or this sheikh is an innovator, then you're an innovator. You're either with us or against us. And this is what George Bush said. And this is also, before him, many people had this black and white outlook. You're either with us or you're against us. Wala hawla wala quwata illa billah. And this is not the case, Ayyul Ahbab. Because I have not seen, and I challenge and would love to sit with any of the brothers who hold on to this principle, this Qaeda, for them to explain to me an example, and I'm sure we can come up with ample uh, uh, examples from our own scholars of Ahl Sunnah where they differed on individuals up until this day. In the Yom and so from the Salaf until up now, you will have differences. Some of the Salaf spoke very ill about particular individuals where another one might have praised them. And this is without getting into the depth uh, of the issues of, the issues of Jarwa Ta'adil, which I'm not qualified to do. But the point being is how do you deal with that difference? Because I don't agree with you, I'm an innovator. Do we have the authority to make those judgments, Ayyul Ahbab? So this is just food for thought, and it's something dangerous, and alhamdulillah, I've talked to some of the ulama about it, and I feel comfortable that this is not a correct qaida, that you cannot properly apply this, and especially when we see that people try to apply this, they're very unjust and uneven in their applicability. So sometimes you have an alim rabbani who doesn't agree with them, but they're not bold enough to make tibdi of them they cannot so ayala bab may allah forgive us in them and may allah guide us in them and may allah bless us all with ilm nafir us and bless ahl sunnah to be back strong as one hand and to know how to deal with the differences between us sallallahu alaihi wasallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam